All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the virtual orientation of the Institute of Computing and Engineering. We are live streaming at the official Facebook page of Davao Oriental State University and the Institute of Computing and Engineering. So our dear students, parents or guardians, and my fellow DOSCST constituents, you may find space where you can comfortably watch through your phones, laptops, or any gadget. My salutation to our DOSCST administrators, competently headed by Dr. Edito B. Sumili, our OIC president, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Rosalyn Virihino, Vice President for Administrative Affairs, Dr. Jinilin C. Lim, Vice President for Research Development and Extension, Dr. Roy G. Ponce, and all other DOSCST officials. I am Rodrigo Salimaco Jr., your moderator for this afternoon's virtual orientation. To start, We will have an invocation to be led by Engineer Eric G. Awaau, to be followed by the singing of our national anthem through multimedia pandemic. You allow us to experience your abundance. grace and mercy, the grace to hold on firmly in your promises and the grace to believe in your institute of computing and engineering as we will do this virtual orientation that may we
Okay. All right. So, uh, pasensya na po on the first. First video a while ago because wala pong uh, audio. That's why we were able to have it again. And again, once again, good afternoon. I expect that we'll be repeating all of those here. Because at this moment, we would orient you, our dear, or the college in general. So, uh, as tata na tagatate, we are expecting you po to be kind and to be. be uh, polite in whatever things that you're going to do or you're going to post. Second, kindly ask questions nicely and clearly. Uh, by providing your course and year, then your concern. And if you have question, If you have question, and if your question rather is not addressed, you may email that to the PH. And the last one is do not upload any screenshots or photos of any segment engineering. Engineer Gene C. Ibalia. To our OIC President, Dr. Edita B. Samile, are all well and good in today's activity. These are challenging times indeed. COVID-19 has wreaked havoc to the rich and poor, poor nations alike, and we are not an exemption. In spite of all these difficulties, we are now adapting as what our university's vision always remind us to be. We will work hand in hand to ensure you, you arrive and rest of benefits in the advances in technology have to offer us. Be that as it may, we shall always find ways to find solution 
to every problem as what you have always done in the past. With all these things at hand and for all the things to come, I leave you with this quote. The best way to predict your future is to create it by Abraham Lincoln. And now at this juncture, I will present to you the Institute goals and the academic program heads of the Institute of Computing and Engineering. This is the Institute goal of Institute of Computing and Engineering. It focuses on promoting the students' creativeness, critical thinking, communication skills, and collaboration with a unified sense of purpose. And I am education, and he is about to finish his doctor. Doctorate degree in technological education management. Next he is the program head of the Bachelor of Psychology, Mr. R. J. R. Sakai. And for the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Mr. Roel, Roel Isdomo, a graduate of Central Mindanao University, and he finishes MA in and teaching mathematics at the University of the Southeastern Philippines. And the one who will answer your calls if you have queries, the Institute, the our Institute Secretary is Marie Arian Teresa C. Aliera. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Engineer Ibalie. And she has just presented our Dean has just presented our four program heads for the Institute. And now let's go to them. Let's know them one by one. Let's know them one by one. Let's start with the Bachelor in Industrial Technology Management Program Head, Professor Rod Ryan B. Mendoza. Sir? Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, for the Bachelor of Industrial Technology Management, so this program is an undergraduate program that equips the learner with an adequate and relevant competencies in the specific areas of automotive technology and industrial management. After the completion of the academic requirements of the program, the graduates of the ITM should be able to practice the industrial technology management profession in the field of industrial technology. Graduates will also qualify as entrepreneurs or as employees that uh, practices ethical standards in the field of industrial technology. Uh, continue in increasing their competence and professionalism, gro professional growth, particular to the need-based research in response to the local and global society needs. Uh, BITM graduates, uh, these are the 
following career opportunities. Uh, assurance manager, technical teacher, um, automotive technicians, machine operators, product and OPM that um, as, a, as a student or as a as a graduate, uh, you shape your own path and before I introduce the Betty and faculty members, I would like to uh, remind and encourage the BITM students, I would like to take the uh, BITM faculty members. We have the, our senior faculty, Engineer Justado C. De La Rosa, uh, Master of Industrial Technology and a licensed mechanical engineer. Um, myself, um, Master of Industrial Technology uh, with his ongoing studies, uh, also about to finish his master's. Uh, licensed teachers, uh, licensed teachers, Also, Mr. Paul Andrian M. Peneda, uh, also about to finish his master's degree in technology. So that's all for the BITM program. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Professor Mendoza. Okay. So this time, we do have, as of the moment, we have 360 live viewers on our Dorsal Facebook page. Our dear students, friends, parents, or guardians, do not be afraid to share the video so that marami pa pong makakapanood. Okay? So sharing is loving. So let's move on. Let's give time to Engineer Magno. Um, good afternoon, everyone. especially to the BSc students. Let me present to you to the BSc science in conjunction with mathematical and computational tools 
to solve problems associated with developing and sustaining civilized life on our planet. Matters for the enhancement of human well being and environment, and last, continue in increasing their competence and professional goals, particularly to need based research in response to the local and global society's needs. So these are the several career opportunities that you have if you are going to take up civil engineering. So um, as a construction manager, as an estimator, we also have as a design engineer, as a CAD operator, as a transportation engineer, And most especially if you're going to choose the track uh, structural engineering, so you will uh, be a structural engineer. Environmental engineer. So if you're going also to choose the geotechnical track, so you will become a geotechnical engineer. And then um He's taking up Master of Engineering, Master of Engineering major in Italian, Instructor 1. He's uh, currently taking up Master of Engineering major in Civil at the Ligan Institute of Technology. He's also a product of this institution. He's hand construction methods and project management, C project and practicum. Next, we have engineer Samuel P. Arespe, associate professor. One. Currently, he is uh, uh, study uh, uh, undergoing Doctor of Engineering at the Ateneo de Davao University. He's handling fundamentals of surveying, mechanics of fluid, and structural design too. Process. So he is a graduate of the Master of Science in Civil Engineering. At the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and also Master in Engineering program major in Civil Engineering at the University of Mindanao. He's handling Structural Theory 1. and Structural Design 3. Next, we have Engineer Manuel A. Rangel Jr., Instructor 1. Um, currently, Program Head, um, a graduate of Master of Engineering, major in Civil Engineering at the Ateneo de Davao University. And currently, I'm handling Computer-Aided Drafting and Highway and Railroad Engineering. 
We also have our one and only staff for the BSC program. Um, we have Ms. Estela Aragon, our CE laboratory technician. So let me present to you the facilities and laboratories of the program. So here we have the engineering building. Um, the engineering, uh, this is engineering building wherein the ground floor is occupied by the ICE office. It is safe to say that out of all the institutes of the college, we can boast that we have the most cozy and state-of-the-art office. Next, we have the drawing room and the computer laboratory at the second floor of the, engineer, of the engineering building. Then we also have the CE laboratory building, which houses first the hydraulics laboratory, the surveying room, the soil mechanics laboratory, and the material testing laboratory. Um, the equipment in this laboratory is also being utilized by the college for our infra project, especially the universal testing machine. Uh, let me just go back. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that um, we have uh, engineer Barbas as our first year advisor. And then we have engineer Felix V. Garde for the second years. And then uh, we have engineer Rangel for the third year advice, uh, advisor. And then um, yours truly for the fifth year and engineer Awaao. So the program is very proud to have produced such outstanding graduates. Um, for example, engineer Gerald O. Inutan. Um, he's the graduate of the first batch of the BSc program and he's also a cum laude. Uh, he also placed 10th in the C board exam 2006 and currently he is the assistant chief planning and design section head Breach and other public works unit at the DPWH First District Davao Oriental. The program also produced 11 cum laude, including engineer Awaao and engineer Bantayan. And we also have one cum laude who will be graduating this uh, September 2, Randy Mandabon. We also have graduates that are employed in the different government agencies such as DPWH, PO, CO, MIA, and others are in private firms and companies. As for the policies, since each faculty will be discussing his or her own policies in his, in his or her class orientation, I will just be mentioning the grade, the at least one grading policy. So the BSP, BSC program is adopting a base 40 grading system. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, thank you so much, Engineer Tan. I have seen in our Facebook Live, actually as of the moment, I am also uh, watching via Dorso page, no live din tayo mga kaibigan. So I have seen on our Facebook pa, uh, page na dumarami po tayo. So good afternoon ladies and gentlemen sa mga bagong uh, tanaw lang diha. Good afternoon. As yet, nanatay 374 viewers. Again, uh, shared lang ng share po so that every student as much as possible would be oriented on or about the Institute of Computing and Engineering in particular, and the USCST in general. So a lot of students are greeting us with a good afternoon. So maayong hapon po, no? maayong hapon sa ito ang mga students diha, sa mga parents, nga naaroon sa kabukiran, ang uba nasa ilang balay, nagundang lang uglaba, perhaps, nagundang lang, perhaps, ang uba na sa ilang mga kwarto. Uh, good afternoon po, and welcome to the orientation, virtual orientation of the Institute of Computing and Engineering. 
So for those civil engineering students or students taking up BS civil engineering, Engineer Tan has just presented uh, to you your competent faculty members. So maong timanan jud ninyo sila, no? Uh, timan yang ilang mga naong. And let me remind everyone as well that on the later part of this orientation, we shall have a question and answer portion wherein we will try to answer every question that you post. Sorry, sorry for that. Okay. Uh, we shall have later na po, so maong i-post ninyo inyong mga question dito ah, sa comment lang, comment box, later para maansiran na mo na siya. Okay, we are here to answer your queries. Uh, pero mamaya, mamaya pa po yan. Dili pa karon. So reserve your questions for that portion. Again, we are streaming live through Facebook uh, Dorso official Facebook page and Institute of Computing and Engineering DUSCST official Facebook page. Uh, as I've seen, majority of our students commenting are BSIT students. So kawai kawai mga BSIT students. So to those students, to these BSIT students and students having IT related subjects, uh, abangan because we shall now hear Professor RJR Sakai the program head of the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology to orient us. Sir? Thank you, Sir Rod. And good afternoon, everyone. To our Dean Engineer Jun C. Balye, esteemed faculty, ever supporting staff and valued students, all the new, welcome to our online orientation of the BSIT program. So every day is the opportunity for a beautiful beginning. But for our new students, today marks a great day to start afresh with a new life and new routines. This might be the case for the rest of our students, as today may be not only a continuation, but also a new beginning. Jump back with new challenges and new opportunities. This year began with a rough start with COVID-19 posing a considerable risk to everyone's health and well-being. Nevertheless, as they say, nothing will go wrong with a positive mind. So despite all of that, it's still a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to a new academic year and semester here in the BSIT program, all for pursuit of knowledge and learning. For the nature of field of study for the BSIT program, um, I grabbed this from the CMO25 series of 2015. So a program includes the study of utilizing of both hardware and software technologies involving planning, installing, customizing, operating, managing, and administering and maintaining information technology infrastructure that provides computing solutions to address the needs of the organization. The BSIT program, some of you may not know, is considered as one of the youngest among the five current computing disciplines, namely computer science, information system, software engineering, and computer engineering. This has emerged because the rise of information and communication technologies has caused increased importance and global reach in all aspects of today's society. With this, the impact brought about by the discipline have been a great deal in the continuous developing, development, morphing, and expansion of its importance to the world economy, thereby allowing IT professionals to apply their skills in a broad range of diverse careers sectors that efficiently rely on computing to automate or drive their products or services. 
The BSIT program of the DOCST has been in existence for 20 years now. It started on June 2001 until today. Its program objectives have evolved in congruence to the growth of IT industry and the economic and development landscape of the various sectors and communities of Davao Oriental and beyond, as reflected in the vision and mission of this institution. The following are the PEOs of the BSIT, of the DOCST. So for the item number one, we are not only aiming for competent graduates to be part of IT labor workforce, but also would be an entrepreneur or infopreneurs in the future. For item number two, we aim a best IT graduates that would be an employee that recognize diversity, but embrace inclusiveness when it comes to growth and development. For item number four, this means technical proficiency in IT specialized fields evidenced by their work experience portfolio. For item number five, good communication skills generally is very desirable in a workplace. Six, simple put, we aim at producing graduates that will not limit themselves to a technical proficiency, but also in a lifelong learning and engage in research and development and divorce. And last, an IT graduate that simply does not forget his or her identity, but very primary job roles and secondary job roles. As a web developer and application developer, it is uh, responsible for uh, designing, coding, and modifying websites from layout to functions and according to the client specifications strive to create visually appealing sites or websites that features user-friendly designs and clear navigations. And also, if you finished your IT program, you could be a junior database administrator. Um, it's a consultant to design database infrastructures and monitors and troubleshoot database systems for a company or enterprise. As a system as administrator, you typically install, upgrade, and monitor software and hardware. They may also be involved in data backup and recovery, and usually maintain the essentials such as operating systems, the business applications, security tools, web servers, emails, PC, local, and wide area networks, both hardware and software with mid-range server hardware. You could be an also a network engineer. It's responsible for designing, implementing, monitoring, and managing the local and wide area networks for an organization to ensure the maximum uptime for users. And also as an information uh, integration uh, personnel uh, is an engineer uh, task with a building computing system for a client working with software, hardware, and various product. As a system integrator, you are primarily combined subsystems into one integrated solutions and perform job duties as such, purchasing subsystems from different contracted vendors, assessing information technology requirements, and so on and so on. And as a junior information security administrator, your role is to install and administer troubleshoot and organization and security solutions. Ensures the network security, protect against and authorize access, modifications or disruptions and troubleshoot 
any access problems. You could be also an IT audit assistant. Assist the organization by protecting its internal controls and data within the technology system. We we'll also safeguard the information by identifying weaknesses and create strategies to prevent security breaches. And you could be also a technical support specialist hired by a company to oversee and maintain their computer hardware and software. Your skills are set asset to the company as they aid in resolving technical issues concerning customers account or company software infrastructures. For the secondary job rules, if you are a QA specialist, all the application software must be tested. And that is uh, the main job of the Q QA specialist is, is to test programs, games, any software to make sure it is reliable, fully functional, user-friendly, which include everything works in different envir environments and across from before they are released to the public. Could be also a system analyst, analyze how well software, hardware, and a wider IT system fit in the business needs of their employer or of a client. They write requirements for new systems and may also help implement them and monitor their effectiveness. And we have also a computer programmer, or in generic term, we have a software developer responsible for writing the code and make up computer software. They are tasked with master minding the workflow of a program, writing the code, testing the program functionality, and create documentation for the program. Computer programmers work across many different industry on projects ranging from app development, writing software, and more. And we have here a graduate successful in their chosen careers. So we have Junji Albareco, uh, batch 2010, Ecom Laude, is now a chief technology officer in a Trim Bimi Limited company in UK. Now he is based in Thailand. His job title position is he's a senior software engineer and also is a team lead in research and development project. We have also Romelis Godis, batch 2010. He's also a cum laude. He's a founder or he's the owner of this creative growth, growthstudio.com located at the Davo City. Expertise in web design and development. Then we have also Twyla Kate Lubligas McDonald, a batch 2012. He's also owner or founder of the two-way digital media located in the Ireland. Expertise in web design and development, CEO, social media management, photo and video editing. So throughout the years since 2000, uh, June, June 1, 2001, the BCD program has been continuously improving its curriculum and encouraging its educators to pursue higher education to produce globally competent IT professionals that can able to meet and satisfy the skills required to their specific careers. So yours truly, I'm RJ Arsakai, your program head from 2017 at the present, and also I'm the third year BSIT advisor, and I'm a master in information technology. This semester, I handle platform technologies. I'm also a certified CSS NC2 and passer of Philnet's IP exam. Next, we have Professor Jonathan S. Cabrera an information technology services unit head of this college. He's also a master in information technology, master in information engineering, Japan, and subject handle object-oriented programming. He's also a certified CS CHSNC2 passer, PhilNet's FE passer, 
Hasikes uh, professional passer and he is also a holder of IBM DB2 Associates. Next, we have Donisi Dongyapon, or Professor Donisi Dongyapon. He's a Master in Information Technology and also um, Doctor in Information Technology uh, ongoing. And subject handled Integrative Programming and Technologies 2, Data Structures and Algorithm. He's a certified CHSNC2 passer, uh, pivot trainer level one, and also a pivot assessor level one. Next, we have Professor Jan O. Inoko, a master in information technology, and he is pursuing his doctor in information technology at the PIP Manila. Subject handled for this semester, uh, networking two, data structures and algorithm, basic computer concepts and practices. Uh, he is a certified NC, a CSS NC2 passer, a pivot trainer level one and a pivot assessor level two. He's also a former department chairman of the BSIT program. Next, we have Ms. Cindy Elasco. He is a Institute Research Development and Extension Coordinator. Uh, he's she's pursuing in her master's degree in information technology. Subject handle web systems and technologies too. Introduction to computing, information systems management. Is also a she's also the advisor of the second year BSIT. We have here Professor Lani B. Lariano, a Master in Information Technology and pursuing her Doctor Information Technology, same at the PIP Manila. Subject handled Advanced Database Systems and Introduction to Computing. Uh, she is also a former uh, BSIT program certified IBM DB2 Associates, CHS NC2 Passer, CS Professional, and Philnet's IP Passer. We have engineer Jenny Warren M. Rio Hilon. Uh, he has earned his MS in Information Technology at Pineo de Manila, the Davao University, and also currently enrolled in the Master of Engineering major in renewable energy at the Ateneo de Davao University. Subject handled systems integrations and architecture. He's a certified CS professional. He's also a licensed electronics and communica communications engineer. His previous works or experience, he's a former instructor of, at the engineering and architecture department at the Ateneo de Davao University, a former part-time instructor at the SCI College Holy Child School of Davao and Jose Maria College, a former economic development specialist at the Davao Development Authority, Davao City, a former IT support manager, MTPL architect at the Sing Singapore, and also is a former ITSO head of this college. And we have Rajan Salimako, a planning assistant and MIS head of this college. So, uh, currently finished uh, his master's degree in information technology in UM Davao and subject handled social and professional issues, computer, com uh, computer programming one. And he's a certified CHS passer in C2 and of course is a licensed <coughs> teacher also. Then we have uh, three senior lecturer, namely we have Leslie Dayan M. Bargamento, He's also a, a Master of Science in Information Technology ongoing at the Ateneo de Davao University. Handled only one subject this semester, Computer Programming 1. Next, we have Danver G. Palmiano, senior lecturer also. It's, uh, he has an earned units of Master in Information Technology. Handles three subjects, Web Systems and Technologies 1, Introduction to Multimedia, and Introduction to Computing. She is, uh, he is also a CHS 
in situ passer and the animation in situ passer. Work experience as a junior web developer, uh, Comtrex LC USA, his previous job, then also, it's also a previous job, a project based graphic designer at Cake Master Magazine from 2013 to 2019, UK. And currently, he is a research marketer home based at SSI Linata Global Davao City. And we have John Ray de Polin. He is a senior lecturer. He also uh, pursuing his master's degree in information technology at the USEP Davao. Uh, handling two subjects, computer programming one and fundamentals of design and uh, mobile design and tools. And he's a certified CHS NC passer and CSS NC2 passer. His previous work experience in Mobi Media Associate as a mobile apps developer, a web developer in USA, and also previous job as a graphic designer in Digital Refresh USA. And currently, he's employed as a, a web developer at AI.ph, then web developer and front-end developer in OE Enterprise USA, and last, a web developer in Code Fixer Canada. And we have last, uh, Marjun T. Lagedong. He's a computer laboratory technician of five computer laboratories of the BSIT program. Okay, this is the information technology building. Uh, it houses three ICT rooms for lectures. And we have five laboratories, computer laboratory one to laboratory four. And we have specialized laboratory, which is the network laboratory. So computer laboratory one is located at, sec at the second floor. It houses, uh, it has a 40 functional desktop computers, a well, a well mounted interactive projector aside from whiteboard that was used for instructions. And all laboratories are, are equipped with emergency first aid kit and every computer laboratories and IT building lobby are equipped with CCTV IP cameras for the safety of our students and for our faculty. So this is computer laboratory two, same as uh, for the computer laboratory one. And for our computer laboratory three, this is located at the first floor and also equipped with emergency first aid kit and, and other computer uh, peripherals or devices. Same as computer laboratory four. And last, we have the network laboratory. So this houses the, the different computer peripheral devices as well as the data servers, the network, servers and other servers so that's all thank you and good afternoon once again okay okay nandyan pa ba lahat okay may yung mga kasama ko dito sa zoom kindly raise your thumbs po kung nandyan pa lahat Anyways, we do have reactions sa baba. You may tap the reaction button. May clap, may thumbs up, heart, ha-ha po tayo. And yehey. So you may, ano naman, galaw-galaw naman dyan para, uh, anyways, we have been live. BI students na po, BITM students na po, sir. And I also have seen a comment from BS Mathematics students saying, asa naman ang BS Math o BS MRSOI? Well, anyway, maayong hapon sa atong tanang students taking up BITM, BSCE, BSIT, BS Math, and BS MRS. And of course, to your parents or guardians, I do believe 
because since we are live now via Facebook, pati ang atong mga ginikanan who are very concerned on the schooling of their children are also with us now. Well, anyway, may inform everyone that by this time, you may start writing or typing your questions if you have. Okay, may go signal na po tayo because together with me now are the very active faculty members and secretary of our institute. So do not worry, uh, we will be uh, jotting down your questions so that later, pwede na mo siya isa-isa hunog tubag. Okay? Now for the meantime, let's proceed to the last program under this institute. The Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with concentration in research statistics. So let us welcome the program head, Professor Ruel S. Domo. Okay, uh, thank you, Sir Rod, uh, for having me. Okay, to the viewers, to the Institute of Computing and Engineering students, especially to the uh, BIS Mathematics uh, students, uh, good afternoon. The Bachelor of Science in Mathematics is the loan program It's the loan program in the Institute of Computing Engineering among four disciplines that will be having its level four accreditation in the incoming AACOP accreditation. AACOP uh, meaning to say the Accreditors Association of Colleges and Universities in the uh, Philippines. The, the mathematics program uh, composed of two courses, the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Research Statistics. And this is the uh, official logo you know, of the mathematics department. The circle you have seen, uh, it indicates family. Because once you are enrolled in the mathematics program, we will consider you as part of the family that you belong to one community who centered is the numbers. This is uh, symbolizes numbers, the infinite uh, infinity sign. Uh, symbolizes the abstractness of numbers and unbounded, unboundedness of numbers. The summation notation here or the capital Greek uh, letter sigma indicates the unity among two programs, the MRS and the BIS Mathematics uh, Pure. And this integral sign, the integ integration sign, uh, it entails the area, the area or the function being uh, BIS Mathematics uh, students or even graduates. Have you seen that uh, the integration sign no migawas na migawas sa circle. Mito to say nga, we are not only concentrating here in the OST or even in Dabaoita State University but also to the other field of NGBOR. So here is the program education objectives of the uh, department or the math over the mathematics program. So the, it develops it develops the students' critical and cre creative thinking skills so that they would be able to communicate, collaborate harmoniously in the changing environment. Second, uh, cultivate the students' higher level of mathematical skills and computing. And lastly, provide students opportunities for academic excellence and leadership development in any mathematics and scientific in the board. These objectives will be achieved if and only if the students have interest towards a subject or uh, in mathematics in general. Because once you are interested 
uh, in mathematics, you can participate during classroom discussion. And uh, once you keep on, keep on participating, you can avoid absenteeism. Next is the or the sum or the possible opportunities being a BS math and BS MRS graduate. First is the rest analyst. Okay, being a rest analyst, you have to analyze the organizational data, uh, its usage, usage and implementations, in such a way to eliminate or even to uh, minimize. Uh, rest. Next is statistician. Being a statistician, uh, it was always accompanied with survey. So, as a statistician, you have to collect or gather data or set of information. Then after collecting or gathering, you have to describe your the information you have got you have been gathered, and after that, that's the time to give your inference or you have to analyze. And of course, your anal analysis is based on facts. Third, the third one is the business intelligence head. Being a business intellig intelligence head, you have to transform data into insights. To drive that drive, no, that drive business value. The fourth one is the financial systems consultant. Being a financial systems a consultant, you have to assess, shall to see any company, for example, cooperative, no, to achieve their goals. Uh, to achieve their goals or mission of improving lives as a financial cooperative. Next is the data analyst. Data analyst is quite similar to statistician. The only difference is that uh, being a data analyst, the data were already given, such for example, and already given and less involvement of survey. Uh, for example, uh, the financial uh, financial statements, no, the gains and losses of a certain company, the depreciation. Okay, those are uh, data that need to be analyzed. Next is the math mathematics teacher or college instructor. So, as this math graduate, you are the most qualified among or compared to other discipline when it comes to mathematics instructor and it, it it also stated here the mathematics teacher because uh the new educational system you no know, have uh, for having senior high school supposed to be the senior high school will be uh are the college students already so uh they need uh, a base mathematics uh graduate to handle uh, senior high school mathematics subjects. Game designer. Game designer, this is a very competitive uh, business. So they need not only an IT expert, but they need also a logical thinker. Executive account. Example of this ex uh, account executive, okay, the loan and appraisal officer of, of any banks, the disbursing of officer, dealers, uh, payroll officer, and many other opportunities, you no, know, as long as uh, there's mathematics, because mathematics is everywhere. Then, uh, as what they have said, uh, Ang bansang marunong bumasa at gumamit sa numero ay siyang bansang progreso. Okay. Uh, so we have here the mathematics faculty workforce or your uh, mentors. 
So we will start with uh, yours truly, no? Your, the program head of the mathematics program for, uh, for almost uh, three years. So I have a Master of Arts in te uh, th Teaching Mathematics at the University of Southern Philippines, Obrero Campus, Davao uh, City. And also I have, uh, I have completed an, uh, the academic requirements for the Master of Science in Statistics at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, Quezon City. And, and I'm, I'm handling subjects such as calculus, statistics, number theory, and complex analysis, complex analysis. The second one is Dr. Nicanor M. Tuan. Cernic was the only PhD instructor in the Institute of Computing and Engineering, although uh, many of them will uh, follow soon. His, uh, he had a PhD in mathematical sciences major in applied mathematics at the University, uh, Mindanao University of Science and Technology, currently USTP. And he's handling topology, real analysis, complex analysis, and abstract algebra subjects. The uh, third one is Sir Danilo uh, O. Hakobi. Sir Dan was or was the advisor or is the advisor of the 40, second year rather, second year BIS mathematics, BIS MRS uh, students. He is now working with his uh, dissertation for, the, for his uh, PhD in mathematics at the Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technolo Technology, Iligan City. He's handling such theory, abstract algebra, complex analysis, and discrete mathematics, respectively. Next is Sir Arnel Alderete. Sir Arnel is the current head of the Financial Assistance Scholarship and Studentship. So, katong may mga problema sa scholarship or needs assistance, so don't be uh, hesitant to uh, visit his office. And he is also the advisor of the uh, freshman BIS Mathematics and BIS MRS students. He had a Master of Science in Applied Mathematics at the University of Southeastern Philippines, Obrero Campus, Davao City. He had his handling, sampling design, time series analysis, fundamentals of computing, and mathematics, uh, mathematics in the modern world subjects, respectively. Next is our moderator, Sir Rodrigo A. Salimaco Jr., which is the, uh, he's the current head of the Office of uh, Student Affairs. During his college years, Sir Rod Salimaco graduated as Soma Cum Laude. Oh, Magna, rather. Sorry. Thank you. And he had a Master of Science in Pure and Applied Mathematics at the University of Mindanao, uh, Matina, Davao City, and handling subjects such as statistics, number theory, different, differential equations, mathematics in the modern world, respectively. Next is the only uh, rose among the turn. Turns. Turn? Okay. Sorry. Thank you for, uh, for the correction. Okay. So, Ma'am Nika A. Singh. Okay. Agbas Singh. Uh, during his uh, baccalaureate degree, Ma'am Nika graduated as cum laude. And he had a Master of uh, Science in Applied Mathematics at the University of Southeastern Philippines, Obrero Campus, Davao City. And now handling subjects such as statistics, experimental design, qualitative uh, research, mathematics in the modern world, respectively. Next is Sir Philip 
Incerto, the current college and board secretary. During his baccalaureate degree, Sir Philip graduated as cum laude. He had a, he's now pursuing his Master of Science in teaching, uh, teaching mathematics at Dabo Oriental State University. Dabo Oriental State University and handling subjects problem solving, moder modern geometry, geometry, foundations of mathematics, and mathematics in the modern world. Okay. Next is Sir George M. De La Hente. Again, Sir George, during his baccalaure baccalaureate degree, graduated as cum laude. He had a Master of Science in Pure and Applied Mathematics at the University of Mindanao, Matina, Davao City. And currently handling subjects such as multivariate analysis, operations research, non-parametric statistics, and mathematics in the modern world, respectively. Next is Sir Gilbert M. Masinadi. Sir Gilbert had a Master of Science in Applied Mathematics at the University of Southeastern Philippines, no, Obrero Campus, Davao City, and his handling subjects such as calculus, statistical analysis, regression analysis, and mathematics in the modern world. Next is Sir Japar W. Liminta. Sir Japar is still pursuing his Master of Science in Pure and Applied Mathematics Mathematics at University of Mindanao, Davao City. And he's handling subjects such as calculus, statistics, mathematics in the modern world. Next is Sir Algasher B. Ato. He's now enrolling his Master of Science in Teaching Mathematics at the uh, at Daba Oriental State University. And he's handling subjects such as statistics, contemporary mathematics, mathematics in the modern world. And the last but not the least, no, Sir Roldan A. Galliadora. Again, during his college uh, years, or during his baccalaureate uh, degree, Sir Roldan Egal Yodora graduated as cum laude. He is now pursuing his Master of Science in Teaching Mathematics at the at Dabao Oriental State University. Okay, and he's handling subjects such as statistics, problem solving, college and advanced algebra, and mathematics in the modern world respectively. Okay, so we have here the internal view of our newly established you know, mathematics laboratory. It, it was uh, equipped with uh, a multimedia interactive board. So, magtats-tats ng tap at yung kamot, pwede na ito isulat. No? Then, panas-panas code. So, murag kami lang ang naanit sa entire kuan ba sa entire uh, uh, dorso okay with 30 computers with uh, statistical and mathematical uh, mathematics uh, program such as SPSS, R, MATLAB and MINITAB respectively and also a three pounder uh, air condition so as, as we have seen you no know, uh, it is conducive uh, for learning and i will take this opportunity to uh, to thank uh, to thank you sir or to the administration led by oic issue president uh, 3 edito bisomili no for providing us this laboratory, which is very conducive for learning. And uh, that's all. And the mathematics uh, program is now signing off.
Okay, thank you so much, Professor Roel S. Domo. So, gi improve good no gi Tony. Uh, all of the faculty members of mathematics department were really introduced well. And by this time, uh, I have noticed that there are a number of students giving supports. No, no, as of the moment, kasi, I'm also watching uh, the live videos at on Facebook. So I have seen many supports to Sir Domo. Someone even said, na, go lang Sir Domo. Laban lang Sir Doms and many more. So very supportive kaayo. sa ito ang program head sa BS Math and BS MRS. Now, have this virtual orientation. Mesta in a sudden, something like that. So expect na nagud na ubang jitters, and uh, LMS now is being upgraded. So be patient lang jod and students ay mukabalaka you contact your faculty members and your faculty members will give you updates on that. No kay ang inyong faculty members mo unay mo adto sa ato ang LMS coordinator mo na sa ato ang ah, mo mo follow up kung unsa na ang update nato or unsa un unsa usay move na pwede ninyo buhaton because I know nga dili lang na ninyo uh, what's this Concern. Some of the faculty members are having such concern as well. Uh, it's because, again, our LMS is being. Uh, let me ask uh, Professor.
Engineer Ibalia for that. system and you can all, all students can contact your respective so again uh if you're not so certain with the information if that in information has not come from the uh official or official of the college, then that means that there is no uh, veracity of that news. Okay, unless kung nag ipagawas ang ato ang Dove Oriental State University. Go na question anyway from Raniel Silagan. When mag start ang klase o the same question question from Ar Ara Ara Mid ilang mga faculty and at the same time the faculty members are even posting sa Facebook na uh Uh, what's this? To contact them or magkaroon ng Facebook page may mga faculty members na nagsugod na og hatag og mga uh, review uh, materials nagsugod na ang Google na your email couldn't find no or the Google said that my email is not found something like that so again ay mo kabalaka mo you can contact your faculty member about that and if you
uh, missed the live, uh, what's this, tele or sa live streaming before video about LMS okay with Nagid kayo ninyo ma-access. Access ang LMS video, na recorded video rather, sa to ang Facebook official page sa Davao Oriental State. Uh, please be reminded that we do have this data. the privacy but nonetheless ayog ka balak Kakay, kung namoy concern, if you have, you can just contact her from 8 to 5, 8 a.m. to 5, okay? Pwede ni mo to kontakon tong numbers, which I have just, uh,
tone sa inyong screen. Uh, numbers a while ago sa Globe of PNT. It's rather, kung naa sila idea. How are they, how are we going to help our student or subject nga kung unsa ka you think na belong anak nga faculty? Para maklarify, basin di ay na yung mukontak sa, mukontak ka sa isa ka faculty pero wala da ay ka dito niya. So, that's why when you ask, you ask your, you completely say your name your course, your year, and the subject that you are referring to. Okay? Uh, next, we also have, I hope nga, ang katong mga pangutan na na-clarify na ha. Uh, next, we have question from Jericho Taduman. Good afternoon, sir. Mag-ask lang ko kung possible ba na naami face-to-face na klase since 10 lang man may kabuok na fourth year BSMRS karon. Now, uh, as much as possible, we are somehow we are really uh, deterring the face to face no ginalikayan jud nato nang face to face mag face to face lang ta kung kinahang lang Unsang akinahanglan sama atong sana ay mga laboratories. Now, we also have here from Brian uh, Bricks Pingot. Sir, pa na notice po. Okay, na notice ka, Brian. Uh, email ad No, mo na tong email ad, this one F O O I underscore R O at B O S C S T dot Ed. That ph. Okay, kung na questions, do not hesitate to email the public information of
Thursday. Other official. officials of the college, the dean of the new normal education. Again, there is no per perfect teaching method which we can say that all of the students could really get along with especially as what the administration has always been telling us let us deal our students with that most orientation or the virtual orientation of the institute of computing and engineering has now officially ended let me leave you a verse in Cebuano version from Panoltihon 24 Jes, which says Kung luya ka panahon sa kalisdanan, luyahon kagayon. So in this pandemic time, walay luya-luya dapat. No, dilita magluya-luya. We must not cower in fear. Let us be strong with our faith. Be safe, everyone, and God bless us all. Once again, good afternoon. Thank you so much, our dean, uh, program heads, and everybody. Salamat sa... inyuhang pagtambong although naara mo sa inyuhang mga balay. Good afternoon everyone and have a good day. You may turn on the mics and have some uh, last words, closing words. Thank you. Thank you Rod. Keep safe. Bye. Okay. So I'll be ending this Zoom meeting now.
Presidente. Ganyan ba ang implementation niyo sa PhilHealth? Ang inyong understanding na pareho ang IRR? Sa Mr. Mr. Pargas, probably... I will ask that question to the lawyer. Kaya nga, oh. sa oh. lawyer na lang siya. Lawyer, we have two lawyers there. Three, pare-pareho ba ang opinion niyo? Attorney Asuncion. Attorney Asuncion, the most seasoned lawyer. Pareho ba ang ibig sabihin ng circular? Wala na ito ni totally, no, nag expect since 2019, wala ito na ito nag expect na mag-LMS na now is being upgraded so be patient lang dyan and students ay kung kapag 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 follow up kung unsa na ang update nato or unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-unsa-un